Okay, for the fourth time today, okay? For the fourth time today. And hopefully everything is working. I don't fucking... Are we live, bruh? Are we live, bruh? Is this Jack Move live, bruh? I think I'm live right now, and I think everything is finally fucking correct, man. Let me just make sure one more time. I wasn't even planning on doing this today. I wasn't planning on... Oh, man, I don't know what the... F Let me just make sure this shit right before I get started, man. All right, cool. All right, all right, cool. Everything is fixed. I ain't trying to let me know if I start peeking, screaming. I ain't trying to scream. I ain't trying to. Matter of fact, usually when I do these, I be feeling the type way, but, you know, I, I put a little, I mix a little humor with it, man. You know what I mean, I mix a little humor with it because the shit is funny at the end of the day. But I'm really not in the laughing mood today. I'm really not. I don't even know how I'm going to frame this because I didn't, I didn't expect this, right? Let's start like this, right? We could just we could just talk. Can we just talk for a minute? You know, I remember back in the day, man, a couple of years ago since I've been on this YouTube shit. You remember when the Xbox One was originally announced and I used to joke about it. That motherfucker bid like a yacht. You could live on that bitch. That bitch like a barbecue grill. Console big as hell. Where the fuck you gonna put that bitch in? And it come with a power brick. What the fuck? Y'all really, what the fuck wrong with the system, man? How I got a power brick and it's this big? Big ass system. Ever since then, right? Microsoft been coming out with the smallest systems. As a matter of fact, the PlayStation 5 is going to be the biggest system in modern history. You know how, like, we used to joke, Xbox ain't got no games, Halo, Gears, and Forza, shit like that. Sony got all the first-party studios. This back when Sony had, like, 15. I think they had 15, 16 first-party studios. Microsoft had, like, seven, right? We roasted Microsoft on the daily. We roasting them daily podcast streams laughing doing the bobby Schmurter fucking shmoney dance all that right since then what happened xbox has been acquiring studios left and fucking right now i don't give a fuck if you like these studios it does not matter it does not matter there is value in having first party studios i don't give a fuck who they are and as a matter of fact playstation is a studio right they say PlayStation got 15 studios. This is always what I say. PlayStation got 15 first party studios, right? I went and counted today. I can't remember if it was 12 or 13. They only got 12 or 13 studios now. They've been closing studios, actually, since then. So PlayStation has been doing nothing but closing studios. Microsoft has been doing nothing but acquiring studios, right? Let's keep it right there. Okay. Every time I complain about something, every time I'm critical of some Jack move, you overreact to Jack move. You're a fear monger, Jack move. PlayStation is fine, Jack move. This ain't a big deal, Jack move. These games are not exclusive, Jack move. Wait and see what happened, Jack move. Right? Right? This is all I really want to say, people. It ain't going to get no better. It ain't going to get any better, right? And if you don't, I want this bitch right. like a sandwich. You flexing for the gram, I'm doing it for my fam, bitch. Texas, they like for a show, show like I'm Uncle Sam. Last year, games come right before the has Xbox just brief. donated two dollars to the super chat. Insomniac oh, we games, live, bro. Right? Told you I'd be in the now, super Insomniac chat. Insomniac Games is a huge fucking acquisition, right? They're accounting for probably what? As of right now, they got really one of the two known PlayStation 4, I mean, PlayStation 5 exclusives, which is Ratchet and Clank, which I said on the podcast, I got a hot take about Ratchet and Clank, and I'll say it right here again. Ratchet and Clank can run on the PS4. Ratchet and Clank, a ripped apart, can run on the PS4. I want y'all to use logic when talking to me, okay? Let me tell you the logic I said about this yesterday. So you mean to tell me out of Spider-Man Miles Morales, Horizon Forbidden West, Sackboy Adventure, yeah, whatever, uh, and Ratchet and Clank, you mean to tell me Sony looked and said, hey, turn off the notifications? What's wrong with them? I think I turned them off. Did you not hear what I just said? What part did, what part did y'all not hear? What notification, what notifications went off? 
I didn't want y'all to hear what I got to say. Can y'all hear me now? What notification went off? I ain't hear no notification. What was the last thing you heard me say? I turned off the notification. I turned them off. What was the last thing you heard me say? I turned off the notification. What is the last thing you heard me say? Okay, you good. What what was the last since it's too loud, what was the last thing you heard me say? I just want to make sure I'm clear about this, okay? I don't want to make sure. Right, the last thing you hear me say is Ratchet Clank around on PS4. All right, cool. Now, let me say this. Out of Horizon Forbidden West, out of Spider-Man Miles Morales, out of Sackboy Adventure, you mean to tell me, and out of Ratchet and Clank, you mean to tell me that out of all them games, Ratchet and Clank is the only one that can't run on a PS4? Sometimes, sometimes you have to use logic, right? Horizon is going to be a way bigger game. Miles Morales might even be a bigger game, scale-wise. Ratchet and Clank, A Rift Apart can run on the PS4. And if you don't think it can run on PS4, you're an idiot, okay? Now, the only reason this game is only on PS5 is because... The way that the game plays, looks, and loads, it is the easiest game to say it is utilizing a SSD. And I, I and honestly, it's, it's one of the easiest games to, to make an excuse for the dual since only being on PS5. Like, you can't use the dual. That is the best game to, to, to use, right? Look how they jumping in and out of segments and all this other extra shit, right? This game can run on the PS4, people. Matter of fact, I'm still waiting on the article to drop that this game, it ran on the PS4 and they decided to move it exclusive to PlayStation 5. Look, I'm, I'm tired of being fooled, man. It, it's ridiculous, okay? It's just, it's getting to be ridiculous, okay? I'm tired of lies. This ain't even about lies, though. Can't name a Bethesda game I'm in love with. It only Bethesda game I beat was Wolfenstein New York. You know what? And that's funny. That's funny. Because on podcast, right, on podcast, you know the conversation about Xbox First Party always come up, who should they acquire come up, rumors come up, man. And I, you know, I remember, I remember specifically, I remember specifically saying this numerous times on Press Start Podcast, and I probably even said it on Weaponwell, I think I did. Yeah, man, Xbox should acquire Bethesda, I don't give a, yeah, like, yeah, maybe I was like, yeah, maybe they'll make better games then, because Bethesda games are trash. As a matter of fact, I only like the games Bethesda publish. I like, you know, I fuck with Dishonored. I fuck with um, what the fuck? I fuck with Wolfenstein, shit like that. You know what I mean? But I really, the games they 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 publish are, are trash to me, right? Now that's still my truth. I live in my truth. That's still my truth. Okay. But the thing is, and the thing I did not realize, because I, I guess I was not well versed enough on the topic, which I, I, I try not, I, you know, I try not to speak on shit I don't know about or think I know about anyway. Bethesda is, is, is owned by a company named Zenimax, I do believe, or they some type of shit. Yeah, they got a parent company, Zenimax, right? Now, I thought Bethesda published certain games. But they did not have any, you know, real ownership in these IPs. Like, if somebody bought Bethesda, they would just buy, like, Elder Scrolls and and fucking whatever other fucking game they make. Uh, Fallout, right? I did not realize that, that one company owned all of these fucking IPs, right? So, with that being said, today, Xbox... And I woke up early, I had to do some shit, but I'm just on Twitter, man. I get on Twitter, I see Jason Schreier, breaking news, uh, Bethesda and talks to buy Zenimax and, uh, no, Xbox and talks to buy and Zenimax and Bethesda. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, that's huge, right? That's a huge move. Regard, even with what I thought originally, that's still a huge move, all right? I don't like Fallout. I don't like fucking uh, Elder Scrolls, right? Even still. Those games sell a lot, okay? I think Fallout 4, somebody sent me a picture. Fallout 4 sold like 14 million copies, okay? I don't give a fuck how I feel about shit. That's a huge acquisition, okay? 
But I look, I'm like, damn. And first of all, I like I said, I didn't know they owned all this shit. This is like six or eight studios. This is a myriad of fucking IPs. Even if they didn't acquire these studios, the IPs alone makes this a crazy acquisition, right? They paid $7.58 billion, whatever the number is. This is crazy. Games like Prey, Evil Within, Doom. Doom is... Uh, you know how much people cap for Doom and say, I don't even fuck with Doom like that, but Game of the Year contender, this, that, and the third. Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, this aunt, bro. This is a huge fucking move. I don't care if you like the games or not. This is going to do numbers, right? And it's just crazy to me, right? Let's let let reel it back again. PlayStation guys, which I don't even I don't even want to be called a PlayStation gamer no more, cause don't it, it don't come with no benefits, man. <laughs> listen, I like the bells and whistles with my shit, but listen, right? I just like how we've been bragging on games like Ghostwire Tokyo and Deathloop. I was looking forward to Deathloop, you know what I mean? Oh, PS Five console launch exclusive. Mm. 4K, 6 frames per second, U utilizing the dual sets, mm, Ghostwire Tokyo, PlayStation launch exclusive, mm. I wasn't looking forward to the game, but it was still some, you know what I mean, under the tuck that we had, you know what I mean, but guess what, Microsoft bought both of those games, they own both of those games now, and they own the companies that made those games, right? So let me get this straight, place my fellow PlayStation Pony brethren. Okay, it's a huge, it's a huge get, Megaton. It's great that we get these games console launch exclusive, but it's not a big deal that Xbox actually owns these fucking games now. Do y'all hear what y'all saying, bro? Do y'all hear what y'all saying now? Now Bethesda, and this is what's crazy about the whole thing. I always view Bethesda as being in bed with Microsoft. They've always leaned towards Microsoft. I think with Skyrim, uh, Skyrim launched, I think it was Skyrim was only on Xbox at first. It might have been some shit like that. It was only on Xbox at first. I know uh, mods for Fallout were only on Xbox. They said PlayStation wouldn't curate them. Um, Bethesda said they, was, they weren't going to release this card game on PlayStation because PlayStation don't allow cross-play and then playstation announced cross-play and they was like well we weren't gonna never bring the game to playstation no way we just we really didn't want y'all motherfuckers to add cross -play. you know it was always certain shit like that so when they announced games like death loop and ghostwire tokyo coming from a bethesda software softworks publishing standpoint that really that really uh piqued my interest it, it had my ears up because i'm like bethesda and playstation ain't never really played nice right Especially with no exclusivity deal. So when I heard that, I'm like, yo, this is huge for PlayStation. Because they're 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 bettering their relationship with Bethesda. You know what I mean? And I like a lot of Bethesda published games. Not even a lot. I just like one or two. It don't fucking matter. I like Bethesda published games, all right? Y'all know I really fuck with Dishonored. As a matter of fact, I, I still haven't played Dishonored 2. And I still haven't played Dishonored, uh, what was it? Death of the Outsider or whatever. You know what's crazy? The reason I ain't played them games is because I didn't play Dishonored 1 so many fucking times, right? It, it's crazy. I didn't play that game a, a lot of fucking times, bro. People, matter of fact, I got donated $50 to stop streaming that fucking game. That's how many times I played the game, all right? So, yeah. Um, And I never thought Dishonored 3 was coming, but with this acquisition, they probably do make a Dishonored 3. They probably do. But it ain't going to be on PlayStation. But let me guess. I'm overreacting. It's not a huge deal. PlayStation going to get these games anyway. Sure, pal. Matter of fact, before I forget, let me go find this statement. Let me go find this statement. Now, today, like I said, Microsoft announced that they acquired Bethesda. Now, a lot of people are trying to downplay this. Now, I can understand if you don't like any Bethesda games, but you're still an idiot, right? Let me tell you why. The whole is not a big deal crowd. I'm going to reiterate what I said earlier, right? PlayStation has either 12 or 13 studios. I forgot. Microsoft today alone acquired eight studios. Like I said, I'm not a mathematician, but this should not add up. Within the last year, within a year's time, Microsoft has doubled up the amount of studios they got as opposed to PlayStation, right? 
I think Microsoft has 23 studios now. Microsoft has 23 studios. PlayStation has 12 or 13. Don't don't misquote me. I don't fucking know. Okay. Now, like I said, there's been a lot of downplay to this. Jack move. You're overreacting. Jack move is not a big deal. Jack move. These games are still coming to PlayStation. Are they though? Are they? Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Are they? Let's look at this. Okay. I don't know who tweet this is. I just pulled it up. Todd Howard said this. Hopefully it means Starfield Air Scrolls aren't exclusive. Matter of fact, Starfield is a game they announced. Starfield was actually the very first uh, next generation game that was announced. They didn't have no footage, no shit like that. But anyway, the same people that's downplaying this is not a big deal. I don't fuck with the games. No way. Are the same people that are saying these games are going to be on PlayStation regardless, right? And their reasoning for this is a quote by Todd Howard, you know, the dude that's over, he over a lot of that Bethesda shit, he one of the big bosses over there, right? Now, Todd Howard said, like our original partnership, this one is more about, it's a, it, it says, this one is about more than one system or one screen. We share a deep belief in fundamental power of games and the, their ability to connect and power and bring joy and a belief we should bring that to everyone, regardless of who you are, where you live, or what you play on, regardless of the screen size, the controller, or your ability to even use one. Now, people took this and inferred that this meant these games are multiplayer and they come into PlayStation. You're a fucking idiot and you're 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 an idiot, right? Because guess what? Microsoft games already are on. Let's see what he said. First of all, this is the same type of language Phil Spencer uses when he refers to Game Pass. Is Game Pass on PlayStation? Is Game Pass on PlayStation? You do know Microsoft got this thing called xCloud, right? That's on more than one screen, right? You do know they got... Let me just read this real quick. Deep belief, fundamental power games, their ability to connect and power and bring joy. Bring that to everyone regardless of who you are, where you live, what you play on, regardless of screen size, controller. Microsoft themselves offer all of those options without PlayStation. You do realize that, right? You do realize that Microsoft has brought games to PC, the Nintendo Switch, mobile, and not PlayStation, right? You do realize they can fucking bogart a strong arm PlayStation out of having all of these games, right? Y'all scrambling right now. Y'all are panicked right now. Y'all don't know how to react. Y'all hoping these games come to PlayStation. You 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 you're hoping, but guess what? They're not they're not gonna come to PlayStation, guys. They're not gonna come. And you can pretend like you don't care. You can pretend like it's not a big deal. This is a huge fucking deal. Okay. Now, not even an hour after y'all kept tweeting this dumbass statement, right? Not even an hour after you tweeted the dumbass statement, they came back and said. The games that already got deal signed for them, shit like Deathloop, Ghostwire Tokyo, yes, those games will come to PlayStation. And yes, they probably will be a console launch exclusive, right? You can't really get out of that. That's an ironclad contract, okay? That's cool. But after that, right, after that, they will take it on a game-by-game game basis, right? It's a game. It's a case-by-case case basis, right? I'm going to put that in layman's terms for y'all because y'all lame and y'all don't understand terms, okay? Layman's terms. Um... These games are not going to touch a PlayStation 4, and they're not going to touch a PlayStation 5. Now, you might get these games on a Nintendo Switch, okay? And you might get these games on PC. These games will not launch or touch a fucking PlayStation. Now, it's two different ways you can look at this, right? Some people looking at it like they drop $8 billion, they're going to have to recoup their revenue, right? That's one way to look at it. Maybe they do want to recoup their revenue, put the games everywhere. I don't know. Then you can also look at it like they dropped eight billion. They didn't do this shit for their health. They gonna keep this shit off PlayStation. In my opinion, in my opinion, if I was Microsoft, I would put these games everywhere except PlayStation. Everywhere except. I would even try to get a mobile version of this shit running. You know what I mean? They got Elder Scrolls online. Put it on mobile. Put it on tablets. Uh, Crossplay or whatever. Whatever shit called. Uh, what is it called? I don't fucking know. That that streaming shit they got. 
Put it on put it on the Nintendo Switch. I will put it everywhere. I will put it everywhere except PlayStation. This, y- y'all really, you know, some ain't a problem until it is, you know what I mean? Y'all keep downplaying shit, but at the end of the day, we're going to look like fucking idiots, bro. We really are. And y'all going to, I don't know what it's going to take for y'all to realize this shit's not getting any better. As a matter of fact, the past six months to a year, it's been straight negative PlayStation news, straight positive Xbox news, right? You know, it's just crazy we make fun of shit, and then when they do it, we still downplay it. I ain't got the energy to be downplaying shit, bro. This is a huge fucking... I don't care if you like these games or not. Now, now, let me tell you something else. If, if, if Microsoft really want to get ignorant with this game and shit, and I, I believe they're going to try to do some shit like this, there are still a handful of huge third-party developers and publishers, right? Uh, I think a lot of them are just like, the amount for them would be like crazy though. Like $8 billion is already a crazy amount, but I think most of them are like out of reach to even purchase. I think the only one, I'm not sure about this shit, right? I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think they could definitely probably uh, afford to get um, Ubisoft. I think Ubisoft, maybe like a Capcom, Sega, you know what I mean? So I really think they're going to try to get one more really big third-party developer and publisher. I think they're really going to try to do that, right? And if they get any of those, PlayStation might as well hang it the fuck up, bro. <laughs> like, seriously. And once again, I don't care if you like these games. But you got to realize, you got to realize Microsoft is putting a stranglehold on full genres of games, okay? It's going to be full genres of games you cannot play on PlayStation. Y'all do not realize that, right? Y'all do not, y'all do not realize the magnitude of what the fuck is going on, okay? Y'all really don't realize that, bro. And, And it's really, it's really no, it's really nothing PlayStation can do as far as an acquisition that would, would counter, you know, would counter punch this type shit, you know what I mean? They can't afford no fucking take two, take two worth like $16 billion. They can't afford that. They can't afford, they definitely can't afford EA. EA is worth way more than that. I, listen, and a lot of these companies don't even want to be purchased, right? But I'm just saying, this is getting bad. It's very bad. It's getting very, very fucking bad. And I think y'all put y'all personal feelings too much into this shit, right? Like, oh, I don't give a fuck about them games. It don't fucking matter. It definitely matters. It definitely matters. As a matter of fact, Microsoft already has a very tight working relationship with EA. They don't even have to cop EA. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's, it's bad, bro. It's bad, bro. And y'all don't see it. That's cool. You know what I mean? But I, it, it's to the point I'm done talking about this shit. I don't know what else I got to say about this shit to make y'all realize PlayStation is in a bad situation. Okay? Now, I, this, a matter of fact, shit like this is the reason PlayStation games are going to start coming to PC, right? Because Nintendo, Nintendo can survive off having their first party lineup, right? You got to think about this. When a Nintendo game dropped, that bitch sell 20, 30 million, right? Shit like Animal Crossing selling 25 million. Like, come on, bro. They're going to be able to be good off of this shit. Oh, another play. Another play they could do with this, right? If Microsoft really want to be dirty. You got to remember, PS5 games are $70 a WAP, right? They $70 a pop now, right? Here's another play with this shit. We'll release it on PS5, $70. If you want to play this game, you want to play Elder Scrolls on PS5, $70. Off rip. Fuck it. They can make it whatever price they want to at this point, right? Or, or you can get it on Xbox. Here you go, Game Pass, introductory price, a dollar. You can get all of the, not only can you get this brand new game day one, you can get every single game in our fucking portfolio. One, what the fuck is dick here? Well, hold on, Blaze. Every single game in our portfolio, one dollar. Introductory price. Now, I know I like to make fun of Game Pass. I got Game Pass until January, and I only spent $2 of my real money. Eventually, you know, I didn't really see I didn't really see the vision with Game Pass, right? It's like I saw it, but I wrote it off. Because of the quality of games we've been getting in Game Pass. They really ain't been shit. You know, Game Pass fighter, this shit trash, 69 Metacritic. All that goes out the window today. 
all they got you got to remember they just acquired a game that's going to be probably nominated for game of the year which is doom eternal they own it now right they own it now this is bad people this is really bad and y'all are not going to see it y'all are not going to see it and they probably own what they own that what bethesda got a storefront on pc right so they own that now too right okay see oh I just like how every time something happens, it's always your overreacted Jack move. It'll get better, Jack move. PlayStation is fine. They fine until they aren't. You know, that meme of that dog in the house where it's on fire, it's like, this is fine. This That's the PlayStation fan base. That's been the PlayStation fan base for damn near a year now. Ever since fucking Outbreak Day last it's been a year. Ever since Outbreak Day last year, it's just been a fucking disaster. And I'm not going to run down everything because we've been talking about it constantly, right? We've been talking about it constantly. It, it's crazy. Like, PlayStation is is releasing it. It's crazy because they're kind of like doing the same shit, but the way Microsoft doing it, I believe, is more beneficial, right? Ever since then, Microsoft has been acquiring new studios. Even though they put their shit on PC, they've been acquiring new studios, getting new IPs. But PlayStation really just been relinquishing their IPs to the PC. I don't know. If anything, right, PlayStation going to have to start doing like Nintendo and relegating where they put their shit to add more value to it. The way Microsoft is currently set up, they can put their shit everywhere, and now it adds value, right? At first, I was like, putting your games everywhere do not add value. For Microsoft, it does, though. For Microsoft, it does, just because of the sheer amount of studios and IPs they own. They and, and, and I used to joke that they're pretty much a glorified third party uh, developer, right? Which they kind of are, but they really just position themselves in such a fucking a sweet spot in this game and shit that is crazy. They really came up under everybody fucking nose and finessed this shit. And I'm very critical of Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg, all them guys, all them guys, right? I think I thought they, you know. You know, they businessmen at the end of the day, but I'm like, these dudes are fucking I- idiots, bro. Like, what are the what the fuck are they doing? They don't know what the fuck. Bro, they making major fucking moves. Didn't nobody see this shit coming, man. Didn't nobody see this shit coming, bro. And you remember, I used to make fun of them. I'm like, why is it every time it's a PlayStation rumor, it's some regular shit, right? But when it's Xbox, it's always they're going to acquire fucking Bethesda or EA or you. They ain't doing none of this dumb ass shit. They finna work for NAS and all that. Yeah, I'm making all my jokes. Now look at this. And I've always been one of the people, man. I remember vividly me on my old channel saying, stop, stop speaking about shit and just let it play out, right? Let the shit play out and see what the fuck happened. And I really believe in that. But the way I've been talking about shit, but like it wasn't playing out. Uh, you know, it wasn't playing out opposed to what the fuck I was saying. It was pretty much staying in line with what the fuck I'm saying. But these past six or so months, man, everything we used to joke about is coming back to bite us in the ass, man. It's coming back to bite us in the ass. And y'all don't realize it. Everything is still fine for y'all, right? Everything is still cool for y'all, right? I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm at a loss for words. I'm I'm usually never at a loss for words with this goddamn shit, man. But uh, it's bad, people. It's bad. It's going to get worse, okay? It's going to get fucking worse. I just really, I, I don't know if y'all didn't graduate, like, uh, you know, math or whatever. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a real big numbers guy, but you just got to realize, and this is another thing. This is another thing. Y'all got to realize, I don't know if y'all realizing this. Xbox, Nintendo, PC, they are, they're pretty much forming a coalition against PlayStation, right? It is what it is. You might you might not see it, but it's there, okay? It is there. There are already numerous games that have came out within the past year that are on everything except PlayStation. Y'all do not see the shit, bro. Y'all are not seeing what the fuck is going on around y'all. And it's crazy to me. It's really crazy to me. It's really crazy to me. If PlayStation don't get in their bag, if PlayStation don't get in their fucking bag, look, it's a reason Game Game Pass is probably going to end up on the fucking Switch if they can run them fucking games. Game Pass is going to end up on the Switch if they can run them games. Tell me I'm lying, bro. This shit ain't no fucking rocket science, dog. It took three years. 
It took three years for Cuphead to come to PS4. It's been Tesla cars got Cuphead before the PS4. Tesla cars got Cuphead before the PlayStation 4 did. You can buy Ori, you can buy both of the Ori games on every single platform that can play a game except the PlayStation. You can buy the game Carry On on every single platform you can play a game except PlayStation. You know what's crazy? And this is another reason I don't realize this shit. It's a lot of indie titles doing this shit right now. There's a lot of independent developers doing this shit right now, right? But as you can see, independent developers can be easily swayed and purchased. I'm going to tell you what would really make me like be done with a lot of this shit. I, it's just got to be that right developer to get purchased, bro. I think I'm going to be done, bro. Like a Devolver Digital fucking um, image and form fucking super giant game. One of these developers get like, it just, it, I'm, I'm getting too close to my tipping point, bro. And, and my issue with a lot of this shit is PlayStation is not doing nothing in response. So let me get this right. Y'all not worried PlayStation fine. So in the past week, Microsoft acquired like eight new studios, one of the biggest third party publishers and developers. And we find out PlayStation been lying to us for fucking months. Everything's fine, Jack Move. You overreacting, Jack Move. Okay, okay, okay. My thing is, what has to happen? What has to happen at this point for y'all to realize this shit been going left and it's going to continue to go left? Now, I know I just said I was very critical of, of Aaron Greenberg and Phil Spencer, and I thought them dudes should have been the fuck up out of there, right? But they're turning around shit. They're turning it around. However, however, you know, y'all was willing to get them guys chance to get them guys shots. I don't think we should do the same. You know what? I'm not going to even say Herman Hulse. Herman Hulse cool, man. He all right. He did the Horizon shit, but he all right. Jim Ryan? Jim Ryan got to get the fuck up out of here, bro. Jim Ryan has to get the fuck up out of here, bro. And, 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 you know, some people, I think it was Blandrew or some people, you know, Blandrew been following Jim Ryan for a minute. He was like, this dude is a fucking, he like a snake or something. This dude is a piece of shit. Like, he pretty much told like, you need to watch out for that dude. He on some other shit, right? Now, Jim Ryan got clout because he was over PlayStation in Europe, okay? And PlayStation, PlayStation Europe, I think, is the most successful branch of PlayStation. PlayStation got a huge stranglehold on Europe, all right? And, you know, PlayStation, their, their big thing is we're the only, uh, you know, game uh, manufacturer that can release a successful game in every single territory, which is true, which is true. PlayStation has a very strong presence in Japan, the U.S., and Europe. As whereas well Nintendo, they're big in, like, you know, the U.S. and Japan. They're not as big in Europe. And Xbox is really big in Europe and fucking um, America. They're not as big in Japan. But guess what? Xbox acquired a Japanese studio today. Tango Gameworks. You know how people been complaining that Xbox ain't got no, they don't have any, um, you know, they're out of touch. They ain't got no J Japanese development. They acquired a Japanese studio today. Tango Tango Gameworks. You remember the people that's making Ghostwire Tokyo, the chick that came out, it's spooky. It's really spooky. She stopped working for them. She need to go back. It's spooky. It's, it's definitely spooky. What's her name? I follow on Twitter. What's her name? It's it, it real it real spooky. It getting real spooky. You know the dude that created Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami? You do know he work at Tango Game Works, right? You do know he made Evil Within 1 and 2, Ghostwire, to all the shit? Yeah, Microsoft owned that. Yeah, yeah, it's still not a big deal though, right? Yeah, okay, okay. See, at first, at first we were playing with this shit because they was, they was acquiring motherfuckers like Ninja Theory, which I like Ninja Theory, but you know what I mean? People weren't really giving a fuck playground games. People like playground games, but I'm like, eh. They pulled out the wallet on this one. They could have purchased goddamn eight billion dollars. Bro, you you could have purchased like four fucking professional sports teams for that amount of money. Like, you do realize that, right? They could have bought like three or four fucking sports teams with that money. This is this is not y'all do not realize what the fuck going on around y'all. If a motherfucker drop eight, not eight M's, eight B's, goddammit. If a motherfucker drop eight billion dollars on some shit, this is not nothing to be laughed or mocked or downplayed, okay? That's my issue with this shit. 
at the end of the day, my biggest issue with a lot of this shit is the downplaying, bro. I fucking, I, I didn't realize this until probably about, well, I knew this, but I, I'm really starting to realize this shit the older I get. I cannot stand a motherfucker downplaying some shit. That irks the ever-living dog shit out of me, bro. I, I, it just does. I, I hate when people say something is easy or something is trash or something. You can't do it. You can't do it. You might think all oh, the games are trash. You ain't got $8 billion to buy them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You you don't own those no more, right? It, when you don't have something, it's easy to say the shit trash and it's not needed and you don't give a fuck, right? But when it start rearing this ugly fucking head, you will realize what I was saying this whole time, man. I've been trying to tell y'all. Now, I'm not a fucking... Uh, I'm not a fucking... Uh, psychic or no shit like that. I didn't see this shit coming from a mile of fucking way. If I did, I wouldn't be doing YouTube videos. I'd be a market analyst somewhere or some shit, right? What I'm saying is just the just the trajectory both of these companies are going, it is not good. It's not good on the PlayStation side. It just is what it is. You can say I'm overreacting. The play and this is the thing, right? PS5 launch is gonna do numbers. PS5 launch is gonna do record sales. Miles Morales record sales. Right, and record sales, right? But eventually, oh, speaking of that, speaking of records, Microsoft announced that Game Pass got five million new subscribers, right? Now, what was that? Two, one, two months ago, they said they were at ten million users, right? Now they're at fifteen million users in a month's time, a, a month or two. Fifteen million users. You remember? Do you remember when we used to make fun? of xbox for not releasing numbers not saying sales numbers oh they're being you know they're not transparent how much today is gone on sale huh oh but playstation never released those those numbers they stopped releasing numbers of they stopped releasing no okay so now playstation is doing the same thing you made fun of microsoft for I just, I just, I just, I just don't understand. You know, people love to say same energy, same energy, keep that energy. I'm not seeing it with you guys. I'm not seeing it with you guys. I'm really not. Look at, look at, look at Xbox promoting controllers and functionality. Who give a fuck about a controller and functionality, man? Is the games good? PlayStation been blowing smoke up our ass with this Dual Sense for what? A year now. Well, how long they announced the Dual Sense? The dual sense it's looking like a fucking sham uh, scam at this point. You know what I mean? We're gonna get our hands on to see what that's talking about. But the SSD, I'm gonna tell you what happened, bro. <clears throat> they really, they really like they really mesmerized us with this SSD talk and future games and all that bells and whistles shit they was telling us, man, it was looking real pretty on the outset, right? But we got mesmerized. We lost track of what the fuck we were supposed to be, you know. The same shit we criticized Xbox guys about, you know, the secret sauce and our DNA two and all this other extra shit. We used to always say, are the games good? Are the games there? Now, we didn't let these motherfuckers sneak up behind us, goddamn Metal Gear style, and they didn't cop off. And you know, and you know, and you know what's funny, too? All oh, that this not a big deal. Fuck this shit. Jack Moo, your reactor. These are the same dudes. Y'all got Konami trending right now. Y'all the same dudes as tweeting PlayStation saying, can y'all please purchase Konami? I thought it wasn't a big deal. Why do y'all care so much? Why do y'all care? Now y'all want K Konami? Now y'all want Konami. Now you want to bring these motherfuckers, you know, resurrect they whole situation. I see why them Iron Lords do be calling Phil Spencer. What they be calling them? Phil fucking Domino's uh, Achilles Spence, whatever the fuck they call them. I see why they call them all this other shit. Aurelius, whatever the fuck they be called. Atreus, shit, I don't fucking know. I see why they be calling this shit now. He really out in these streets doing work. Shit. <clears throat> God damn. Damn, I caught the balloon again, this motherfucker. But listen, man, I ain't got too much else to say. It's over with, okay? It is over with. It can only get worse from here. Now, unless PlayStation acquire... And you know what's crazy? They don't even have to acquire nothing crazy. They need to start copying some of these smaller, independent developers that are at a at a decent price. That's what they need to start doing. They have to they they have to increase their first party production and portfolio. It's no way around it. It's just not. It's no reason PlayStation does not own a studio like Housemark. 
Why don't the PlayStation own Housemark, bro? They making a PS5 exclusive right now, Returnal. Why don't they own Housemark? It is so many developers I think they should try. And, and I know quality over quantity, right? But the people I'm naming, they make nothing but quality games. So it would not be a negative to bring these people in under the tuck. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's a lot of value. And it, like, there's value in exclusivity, right? Owning this shit, it's worth, you know what I mean? It's worth money. It just it is what it is. It adds value to your fucking product. I think PlayStation should definitely acquire some smaller to mid tier fucking publishers and developers. Okay. I just think that's what they need to do. That's what they need to do. And I know people saying, well, that's a knee jerk reaction. You shouldn't do you know, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. When a sports team get a huge star, they fucking competition don't sit idly by. They get in that trade room. God damn it. They see what the fuck is available. PlayStation should be in a fucking war room right now. Connecting the dots. Okay. Who? Okay. What game they brought out? What? How many people at studio? Okay, hit them up right now. What's good with y'all price point? What's good? Let's get it. Get down or lay down, goddamn. Xbox been doing it for what? The better part of two years now. I thought they were done in 28. Every time, <clears throat> like, I don't ever believe shit feels special to say, right? It's just, it just come with the territory. Now I got to start, but that is what it is. Um, You know, he was like, we, we're not done. We're not done. He announced in five, six, two, we're not done. Yeah, okay, whatever. About these bum ass studios, whatever. They're not done. And 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 the crossover potential they got now. You got to remember, Xbox was rumored to buy Bungie last fucking week. They was already rumored to repurchase Bungie, okay? Now I know the dude came out and said that was false. Who knows? Who knows if that's even true or not? You know what I mean? Y'all not understand. There is a possibility for a Halo and Doom collaboration now. You know what I mean? Think about that. A Halo and Doom collaboration game. Who not buying that? I'm not, that ain't my type shit. I don't really, but who not buying that? You know what I mean? They can link up Obsidian with Fallout again. They can put Obsidian, the original creators of Fallout, they can get them that IP again. You see what I'm saying? This ain't no small move, people. I don't, like I said, I don't give a fuck whether you like the games or not. It is what it is with that shit. But anyway, anyway, I'm about to read these donations and get the fuck up out of here. Y'all gonna stop downplaying shit, though. I hate PlayStation. I fucking hate PlayStation fans. You dudes are fucking dick eaters. I hate all you motherfuckers. I knew it was a reason my YouTube really don't grow the way I want it to. And I'm kind of glad, right? Because a lot of diehard PlayStation fans, you're hypocrites, you're liars, and you're dick eaters. It's just yeah, what it is. I don't know if y'all came from the 360 Nintendo. I don't know where the fuck you stupid motherfuckers came from. Nothing's a big deal. It doesn't matter. It just... I hate you, son of a bitches. God damn, man. I hate you, stupid. Oh, my God. Y'all the reason this shit getting bad like this. Some stupid. What's this stupid bitch that tweeted me? They haven't had a successful game since, uh, what's she, some stupid shit. She gonna say all their games flopped the motherfucker sent her a picture of, uh, Fallout 7, 14 million. That don't matter, do research. Bitch, what? I had to block that dumb asshole. Get off my... I had a fucking Brandy profile picture. You don't look shit like Brandy, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck wrong with you. Anyway, uh, Gideon donated two dollars and said, "Are we live, bro? Told you I'd be in the super chat. What's good, Gideon? Uh, Outlaw became a member. I appreciate that. El Matador says, "So Jack, what you want PlayStation to do now? I want them to get aggressive in this in this market. You know what I mean? I want them to get aggressive. I want them to start acquiring shit." There's no reason I shouldn't wake up, you know, in a month, a month or two and see uh, PlayStation uh, reach a deal with Devolver Digital and all they fucking, you know what I mean? Fucking image and form. Somebody, goddamn. <coughs> buy a fuck. I don't know what the fuck you need to buy. Buy something, goddamn it. Uh, Tony Esquire said, I remember how hype I got when Microsoft bought Rare and didn't do a damn thing with it. It's showtime. Not time to talk to Clippers spent uh, big too. They did. They did. Rare also has one of the top selling games on Steam the past three or four months. So even though I do not like it, even though you do not like it, the game is making a ton of revenue. It is a huge streaming game and the community is there. Okay. Once again, down playing shit ain't going to make it better. Mac Ultra said Microsoft just went nuclear. I agree. I agree. It's over with, bro. This is getting crazy. Fresh homie Sean said just got my Jiggy merch hoodie. Uh, it was a certain way I should wash it. 
I'm actually not sure. I think it's on the information on the tag, fam. Hey, send me a picture of that though, yo. I want to see. I want to see what it look like. Send me a picture of that, fam. Um, <clears throat> one time soup donated with no comment. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, so excited. Weren't you the one that said everything Microsoft purchase turns to trash? Now you worried about Bethesda? We'll see, bro. We'll see. We'll see. And so excited. You're a dick eater anyway. I don't even know why I'm responding to your dick eating ass. You always saying shit don't matter, bro. Well, PlayStation said they were going to support the system. They didn't say that these games wouldn't come to PS4, even though they just said these games are only possible with the power of the PS4. You're a dick eater. I'm so excited. Get your next box. You're a dick eater, okay? Um, one time Soup became a member on the channel. Appreciate that, fam. I low-key want you to... Uh, Randy Bill said... Where you at? I low-key want you to be right, uh, just so you can let your nuts hang. You're the only PlayStation fan that keeps it a bill. Hey, man, listen, it's getting bad. It's, it ain't got no better since I've been saying this shit, but people don't want to realize that, do they? Grimy314 said, talk to him, Jack Moo. What's good, Grimy? Blackstar Goat said, when Kratos dies and God of War Ragnarok and Annette treats it like the last of us two, Sony is in trouble. Hey, man. When they release God of War Ragnarok and it look like something they can run on the fucking PS4, Sony going to be in trouble. John John the Don says, Sony got to buy Housemark, Blue Point Games, and maybe even Remedy, in my opinion. Where is Kevin Butler to Dropkick Jim Ryan? Hit that join button. Appreciate it, John John the Don. The Jiggy Merch Contest winner, by the way. You looking good over there, my guy. You looking good over there. Um, Yeah, yeah. Even though Blue Point don't have their own IPs, they would definitely be nice for the portfolio because, as you can see, they do tremendous work in by way of remastering and remaking games. Very valuable asset to have. You can literally buy Blue Point games and just tell them, all right, uh, go check out our back portfolio of games we own. Pick one of them motherfuckers and, and attempt to remake that bitch. Fuck it. We'll give you two or three years. Here go the money. You know what I mean? Just you got to just at a certain point you just got to do they already pretty much doing that right now with them, right? But I don't like that. I I think you just need to start outright buying motherfuckers, right? Because even though PlayStation had a very close working relationship with um Insomniac at a certain point, all the games on PlayStation. But what happened? One day Insomniac said, we're tired of PlayStation owning our fucking IPs, and Microsoft will let us make them a game without owning the IP, which was Sunset Overdrive. Then they went and worked with EA, right? Now, granted, they ended up getting purchased by PlayStation, and all that shit came to PlayStation anyway, but what I'm saying is you don't want that, you know what I mean? As you can remember, fucking, why doesn't PlayStation own fucking Quantum Quantum Theory or Quantum, what the name is? Quantic, Quantic Dream, right? Quantic Dream used to make all their games for PlayStation exclusively. Now, that was a three-game deal, but what I'm saying is, now their games are on PC. Their games probably come to Xbox eventually. They doing numbers on PC. So I guess they did what they felt was right. But I'm just saying, certain devs, even though they got a tight worker relationship, I just think it's more beneficial just going to purchase a motherfucker straight out. Why don't why don't why don't PlayStation own that game company? The makers of Journey, Flow, Flow. You know what I mean? You just need you just need developers like that, bro. It might not be the biggest, grandest experience, um, but then you got to think about it. They don't have unlimited funds either. And PlayStation be fun in a lot of these games, but they don't be owning the IP. Like that's that's some nut shit, bro. That's some nut shit. King Supreme says Sony would commit. Uh, let me see. Sony would commit that if Xbox gets Sega or Cap. That's what I'm saying. Now, what if what if 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 Xbox acquires Sega, you might as well gonna wrap this shit up, and put a ball in it because Sega owns Atlas. So then they would effectively have a lock on the JRPG market and the Western RPG market. But let me guess, I'm overreacting. It shouldn't be. And you know what's crazy? Microsoft was rumored to be buying Sega. <laughs> like, I'm telling y'all, man, y'all got to start. And I'm one of those guys, right? I don't like to breathe uh, life in the rumors. I think breathing life in the rumors usually get you fucked off. But apparently not. Because Bethesda, well, it's a reason I kept saying Microsoft should acquire Bethesda. That must have been some type of rumor or a murmuring I heard in the community. You know what I mean? So sometimes... Where there's smoke, there's goddamn fire, okay? Sometimes there is, man. A lot of fake insiders on this bitch, but sometimes they own to something, man. I don't fucking know. I don't know. John got the juice said, two years of jigginess. I hope Sony buys Capcom and Squirrel, maybe Capcom and From Software. 
I don't give a fuck who they they got to do something, bro. They got to do something. They just it's, it is what it is. The ball's in their court. You know what I mean? It's game seven. And we down by fifteen right now. <laughs> Goddamn. Fourth quarter. What you gonna do, some shit? Um so excited, said, fuck out of here, Jack. I've been saying PlayStation should be promoting PS Now more and buying more studios. Don't call me a dick eater because we disagree. I'm sorry, dick eater. Um, Another thing. Another thing. This also hurts PS Now, right? Because PS Now, the whole thing about PS Now, PS Plus, services like that, they're dependent on third-party titles being in the service, right? With an acquisition like this, you will never see a Doom in PS Now. They're going to remove all Bethesda published and developed games from PS Now, all, you know, PlayStation. So now you're lowering the 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 just the possibilities of shit you can get. You see what I'm saying? But once again, y'all don't want to listen. It's cool. I'm about to get 400 viewers. Crazy. I wish y'all tuned into my gaming streams like this. It's crazy. Matter of fact, I might just start doing all we lives, bro, because this game and shit, it ain't looking like it's for me anymore, okay? It's not looking like it's for me anymore. You know what's looking like it's for me? That goddamn Xbox Series X. Mm. That's a beautiful console right there. You know I always say I like the look of it. As a matter of fact, they're probably going to be the exclusive home to shit like, you know, Dishonored 3 and Deathloop 2. I need to play those games. And it's getting an exclusive game from one of my favorite developers, Image and Form, which is the gunk. I can't play that nowhere else. Hellblade 2. You know the same Hellblade that Sony fucking helped. This is my problem with Hellblade and Ninja Theory, right? This really irks me and it really bothers me. It really does. I distinctly remember three things, right? I distinctly remember PlayStation damn near, if not fully funding Hellblade 1. And it being a console launch exclusive. I remember Ninja Theory stressing that they don't have a lot of money and they, they had to do limitations with game development. And I also remember them saying some shit like they're not looking to be purchased. Then I also remember Phil Spencer coming out and said, guess what? We just purchased Ninja Theory. Whatever, man. Whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. I give it to Smoothie, Loyal's Fuck Jack, Shaky. Cosmetics, you're probably, you're probably, cosmetics, let me guess, let me guess, you're a, you're a Lakers fan, you're a goddamn uh, Chiefs fan, who else you fuck with, you're one of those, you're a front runner, okay, you're one of them guys, okay, see me personally, when my team doing bad, I like to criticize and see what the fuck the root of the issue is, you're a fucking front runner, it ain't about being shaky, it's about being cautious, all right, now, if it's an alleyway in your hood and you heard 15 of your homies got knocked off in this alley, are you going to walk down that alley or are you going to keep your stupid bitch ass at home? Because you don't want no smoke. Watch your goddamn mouth talking to me. Fuck wrong with you. Anyway, I'm just worried about the situation. And this, like I always say, this is not critical of Xbox. I can't be crit. This is why I was getting upset with what Dark Cloud was saying yesterday on the podcast, right? Every time somebody bring up some, and, and people cr uh, criticize me for this too, and I didn't really see what they were saying, but now I'm understanding it. Every time somebody bring up a negative point about PlayStation, you cannot bring up a negative point about Xbox to defend what the fuck PlayStation is doing. I'm guilty of this. I always do this shit. I'm starting to see what the fuck y'all are saying. I am, right? Anytime PlayStation do something, I say, well, y'all accept that, but y'all don't accept this, right? And I bring up some fuck shit Xbox and Nintendo are doing, right? Which, it's a valid argument, but at the same time, it make you look like a fucking dick eater and an idiot, bruh. Because the console of your choice is also doing fuck shit, right? PlayStation is on fuck shit, okay? So I, I no longer, and this is why I think I'm going to have to stop doing content. Actually, I think I'm going to have to stop doing content. I'm not even being funny right now. I think I'm going to have to stop doing podcasts, all this shit. Because I no longer can criticize. I can't criticize shit, bro. I cannot have this energy for Xbox, and I cannot have this energy for Nintendo when PlayStation is doing arguably worse shit. I just can't. I can't, bro. I cannot. Think about it, bro. I cannot, bro. 
how would I look getting on the podcast criticizing Xbox and Nintendo for doing the right thing, right? They're doing right by their consumers. I can't say the same for PlayStation right now. I really can't. They're promoting a $500 console that plays the exact same games a $400 console plays. I should have known some. I should have known something was up when the all digital PS5 was the same price as a PS4 Pro. It's because they're the same system. <laughs> At this point, they're the same fucking system until I'm proven otherwise. All right, it's a PlayStation Pro Pro. Okay, Pro. We call that motherfucker the Pro Pro. Okay, or the Prop Zero at this motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck we call it. The Pro Pro. All right, fuck. this shit crazy. This shit is crazy. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Um. It's not going to get no better. Anyway. It ain't going to get no better. But anyway, I digress. 428 viewers, make sure you hit that follow button. Uh, I don't know what type of content I'm going to be releasing. I would say I'm a PlayStation channel, but shit. I, I, have a good day, okay? I appreciate y'all boys for watching. Hold on, let me make sure I ain't got no more donates before I get the fuck up out of here. I don't. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day, all right, everybody? I'm out. Peace.